Hi friends, today we are going to deal about how is the Indian president being elected. Recently we know Ramnath Govind of BJP has been elected as Indian president. So we will study about the what is the process involved in the president's election. Okay. So first of all, uh, one thing you should make clear is the president of India is not directly elected by the people because we are standing in queue and we are electing the MPs and for MLAs of state legislative assembly. But we are not uh, directly electing the president. This is clear, right? So how he is uh, being elected that we'll study. Okay. Uh, so the method of uh, president election is taken from the Irish constitution and also the definition uh, given in the article 54. So the major difference between the American president and Indian president is uh, this electoral college. Okay, uh, I told uh, he is being elected by the electoral college. President of India is uh, being elected by the electoral college. In America also it is the same. But this electoral college itself uh, is uh, elected by the uh, people of America but not uh, in case of India. Okay, this electoral college is not directly elected by the people of India. And also uh, a system called state vote system is being followed in America and not here not the system. Okay, that is a major difference between the American and Indian president. So one thing you should make clear here is he is not directly elected by the people. He is elected by the members of an electoral college. So what is this electoral college and who are represented here that we will see in the next slide. So who are represented in the electoral college. Okay, electoral college is the uh, this only is electing the president. So who are represented here is the elected members of the parliament and the elected members of the Assemblies, your state legislative assemblies, including Delhi and Puducherry. So I have highlighted the word here, elected, right? So elected means there are two uh, in the parliament and state assemblies. There are two elected and nominated members. Elected means you are directly electing that members. Okay. Nominated means um, the, uh, the the president can nominate some, some members to parliament and governor can uh, nominate some members to state legislative assemblies. Who are that members being nominated is uh, persons of special importance or uh, who have achieved or excelled in their fields. For example, Sachin Alkar is a Rajya Sabha MP, current MP. Okay, So he has excelled in cricket. So these are the nominated members. So my point is those nominated members say Sachin Alkar or Rata Mangeshkar, they are not entitled to take part in the presidential election. That is my point. Okay, So they are only the elected members of the parliament and your state legislative assemblies takes part in the electoral college means they are only electing the president okay not the nominated members of the parliament or either your state legislative assembly okay so that is something called value of vote this is to um, what determine the parity between the state and the center okay uh, they have fixed some values the values for an mla vote i told mla and mp are only involved in the president's election so for uh, mp they have um, the value of vote is by this formula and for mla the one formula is there and also something called electoral quota okay if uh, if many candidates are contesting if only they are securing this number, okay, after calculating this, you will get a number. If only they are securing this number, they will be named as elected, okay. So, what is electoral quota? When we are dealing with the example, you will have a clear understanding. So, three components are there in present selection that we should know. One is proportional representation. This is to, uh, what to say, the main principle is, is, not, is to prevent the exclusion of minorities actually, okay. So, means you see, uh, everyone are represented here, right or no? Your MP is also represented and your MLA is also represented in present election. So it is a proportional representation. For example, if you see UP, it is a large population state. And there, uh, they will have many MPs and they will have more MLAs. But in the other hand, if you see Goa or Sikkim, it is a small state. It will have a small representation. Okay. So proportionally represented. All are represented equally. That is proportional representation. And secret ballot, you know. And this single transfer load, what we will see now with an example. Okay. So I told uh, example. So consider that the total valid votes are 15,000. Before that, uh, ballot paper, okay. The ballot paper will be given to every members, okay. So what is this ballot paper? The ballot paper will consider like this only. Okay, it will have a preference table like first, second, third and fourth, fourth. And uh, say for example, these four candidates are contesting in present election A, B, C and D. And this and this X, okay. X will uh, prefer A as the first preference and C for second and it goes on. Uh, on the other hand, Y has preferred D as his first preference and it goes on, okay. This is the ballot paper which will be given to every uh, members in the electoral college. Okay. And they will be uh, indicating their preferences. Okay. So we will consider that the total votes valid valid votes are 15,000. And what will happen is first counting. Okay. They will count all these first preference vote. Okay. These first preference vote of all the members of electoral college is being uh, first it will be counted. Okay. After that we will assume that A has got some 5,000 this vote and uh, this. Okay. This is the uh, after first counting. Okay. I have told, I have speak about the electoral quota on formula, okay. Based on that, we will get the number now, okay. Electoral quota, total valid which is 15,000, okay. Divided by 2 plus 1 here. So, the number is 7,501. So, it is clearly understood that 
nobody a b c or d as far as our example nobody has secured this number 7500 number so nobody is being elected now okay so what happens is see here the least is d okay d has got the least vote 2250 so what they will do is he is eliminated from the race he is eliminated okay so what happens is 2250 members have, uh, are are made d as the first preference okay for example see why why has uh, done d as the first preference so it will be eliminated and his second preference vote like c okay it will be transferred to the first preference so c will get add add on like not only c everybody will get some add on okay some note some votes will be add on because shift of d okay d's vote has been shifted uh, this 2250 votes have been uh, equally shifted to a b or c okay depending on the order okay this is called the transferable these vote is transferred like okay after this they will calculate the numbers still if nobody is getting this number means they will go for third county fourth county fifth county like that it will go goes on till oh, who is getting this this number if anybody is getting this number it's over okay he is being elected as a president okay that is the process involved in the uh, president selection so lastly we leave the election dispute supreme court is a major authority in dealing with this disputes and also uh, it cannot be the ground cannot be challenged that the electoral college is incomplete because are if, if any vacancies in the electoral college it can't it can't be claimed as a ground for violation of the president selection and also see the power of president election see uh, if uh, if such president if such person has been um, named as uh, not the election of that person is declared void by supreme court his acts done before continue to remain in force that is the power of the indian president okay i hope you know uh, now we got us some clear understanding about the process the core process involved in this uh, president selection and how ramnath govind uh, cleared these stages and he is now the president of india i hope you get a clear understanding and uh, thank you and subscribe get into us for more videos